Hi. Other action figures each sold separately. From the court. Her. Oh, yeah. Judy, get the door. It must be Cousin Willie. Okay. Hi. 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 H
Greetings, everybody. Uh, so here, let me check on who was first in chat here. Let me let me get that out of the way. I know you like to know sometimes. Al will be growing for life. First in chat, followed by Irish, followed by Little E8 Buds E3, little something, <laughs> and then Windsor and Jeff and me, and the list goes on. Yeah, the accidental uh, bud porn. I didn't mean to show you the, the breeding tent. Ooh. You have to check out last week's or last episode of Friday Night Gardening, the pheno, uh, uh, the auto flower pheno hunt, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, that's where that video was from. That was the, all, all the sexy balls and stuff. Um, speaking of balls, eek, we might have some balls in this tent over here. We might have some. As you maybe see on the thumbnail, I don't know if anybody got a look at the thumbnail or if you just click the video and don't even pay attention to the thumbnail. But the thumbnail has a picture of what looks to be balls. So we're going to have to take a look at that today. And we're going to do a little bit of lollipop action on the plants that are in there. Uh, there's a little too much lower growth just skirting these plants and uh, it's encouraging places for uh, bugs to live and stuff. And since I've been trying to deal with uh, the gnat fly thing here and it's been, it's been seeming pretty well, actually it's been faring better than it has in the past. Um, it seems to be improving, um, but uh, hiding or getting rid of that overhang will, will uh, assist airflow um, and uh, just make less hiding places for, for bugs to, to, to live and enjoy their life because uh fuck their life those bugs can take a hike <laughs> uh rocky what is up um check your volume beard what's wrong with my volume what is wrong with the volume banger boy let me know what do you mean check check the volume is my voice too loud is my voice too quiet is the music too loud? Is the music too quiet? Is everything okay? It looks okay on my end. The, the music volume is always a little quiet, and it's supposed to be a little quiet. But it's okay now. Okay, maybe I had moved my microphone or something, and there we go. Oh, the microphone doesn't... Okay, the microphone's a little more sensitive than I think it is. Hmm. It might be time for me to upgrade my microphone. <laughs> it might absolutely be time to upgrade my microphone again. Um, I like the old mic better than this weird one anyway. Um, I saw Dab B. Bring him back. Dab time. Dab time. Motherfucking dab time. Lazy can of beard. Forgot the hat on the B. And I have to get a brand new B up. Because I forgot the B. He's got the Santa hat still. Stagger Lee, welcome to the, oh no, you were in the stream earlier, dang it. Stagger, you sneaky sneaker. I didn't see you come in there earlier, I apologize. I see all the bees up there now. I was just saying hi, because I thought you just came in. <clears throat> but everybody, let's have a dab, let's have a toke, let's have a sip of coffee, have a bite of your sandwich. Um, you know, puff off your gross cigarette or whatever you're doing. <laughs> I try not to judge, but judge. Don't smoke cigarettes. It's bad for your lungs. It stinks, too. But smoke weed instead. Grow weed. Smoke more weed. Smoke less cigarettes. That's my advice for the day. <laughs> Toke time. I mean, I say dab, but dab is like what I do, but it's still just a universal term for like, just get high. Get high with me, brothers and sisters. Cheers. This is uh, the LA Confidential. I'm, I'm sad this is almost gone, because... I'm going to have to grow some more soon. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It 
so piney. You know what's funny about this? Is every time Bunny smokes it near me, and I didn't just have a dab, I had a dab of something else, so I got something else in my flavor palette. And Bunny smokes some of this near me. I'm like, mmm, what is that? What did you just smoke? And she's like, LA Confidential. And I was like, oh, no wonder. I'm like, give me a dab of that. I like this stuff. It's one of my favorite strains. I will be regrowing it after this. I've actually made the decision recently that when this tent is done, my next grow is going to be two things. Two strains, again, just to keep it simple, half and half, right? I'm going to do um, some LA Confidential on this side again because I just love me some LA Confidential. I know I just grew some in the tent before, but I'm going to want some more. Um, and then I'm going to grow, um, what is it called? Cherry Kush CBD. It's a CBD one-to-one, -one, about 11% to 14% uh, THC CBD, one-to-one -one ratio, and it tastes like cherries, apparently. And that sounds very appealing. I had this strain a long time ago that I really, really, really liked that tasted like cherries. And uh, it was a high one-to-one -one CBD. CBD, good CBD tastes like cherries anyway. So, um, yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, if you had a 2x4 with a Spider Farmer 2000 in the seedling stage, would you dim it to 40%? Yes. Absolutely. Um, during any of those big new lights are meant to be dimmed. They're meant to be kept at a relatively stable um, height, hanging height, within about 2 feet, 2 to 3 feet, I range. And then use the dimmer to fine adjust instead of the old way is we would adjust the lamp right down to the right down to the frickin' top of the canopy and then raise it as the as the plant grew. Now we just turn up the volume on the on the thing. That's pretty cool, man. Oh my god, LA Confidentials is one of my favorite strains. I got some in Portland and I can't wait to get back that way. Um, there is a couple of LA Confidential strains that I've tried, one of which is not the same as what I'm smoking. What this is, is this, this is from, uh, uh, I, I, again, I don't know what you're referring to, but this right here specifically is from I Love Growing Marijuana, that Robert Berkman website. Um, this stuff tastes like a pine forest. Um, when you look up the terpene profiles, it says one word, pine. And it's a really good extract maker. This is a little dark and I fucked up because I left the bag open for a month and it oxidized in the air and got really dry. So I just made it into shatter. But it's wonderful, it's just dark. Normally, it's actually a very nice blonde color. I get a really good color out of it, but it tastes like a pine forest. I love it. Worst strain I ever had was hamstring. that was supposed to be funny <laughs> well can't win them all okay one more dab and then we'll get into the tent and start looking at some things first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a look at the freak show sorry the super freak regulars because i think we got some balls ladies and gentlemen um one of them looks like balls i if you look at the thumbnail that's what it looks like to me i don't quite know what to call it man it uh the thing that's weird is they don't look like normal balls you guys can tell me anybody that's had any experience dealing with a lot of regulars and males and stuff there's little spherical things in the v's where there where there's buds should be growing or balls there's spherical things and it, when you look up at it really closely, it looks like a claw hand holding a pod, like a flower. It doesn't look like a pod, like the balls, like a round circle, like an egg. It kind of looks like it's holding a little tiny flower, but it's definitely like fingers holding on to something. And it kind of looks like balls. Tell me if I'm not wrong. Is that junior balls growing? We'll, we'll show you. I'm going to bring it out here. Wow, that is one heck of a name, but hello. Hello and welcome. Um, so here, let's uh, 
add that to the dab count. <clears throat> that was kind of a light dab, but it tasted really good. And we'll switch the camera over here. And uh, let's take a look inside this tent here. Let's, let's see what's behind door number one, shall we? Now, I got a little Velcro dilly here over on the side that I can keep that up. There we go. So, actually, you know what? If I turn down these lights and stuff, it's going to make it a lot easier on the camera. There we go. So here we go. These are the super freaks. Sorry, let me, let me rephrase that. These are the super freaks right here. We got, we got one, two, and three right there. This one over here is a regular, is a freak show, not a super freak. These are super freaks. So we got two good looking super freaks, right? We got these two ladies here looking really nice. And then we got this weird broccoli in the corner. You guys all remember the broccoli? Do you guys remember the broccoli? You're like, hey, can of beer, keep the broccoli and let's see what happens. Keep it, it's cute. Yeah, it was cute. But you know what's happened to it? Well, it's the suspect plant. So I'm gonna pull it out here and then we're gonna take a look at it. Let's see what we can see. Okay. So I don't know exactly how I'm gonna be able to do this. But um, do I have a flashlight or anything? You know what I do have? is I got a cell phone with one of those flashlight dillies on it. Maybe my fingerprint doesn't match. Shut up, it does too. There you go. There we go. Let's see if this flashlight makes any difference. Oh, it totally does. It goes from dark to light. Okay, so... You guys see in here? Right here. See those balls right there? I'm gonna move the light around so you can see some different shadowing. There's some weird look. They look like balls to me, man. I'm sorry, but those look like balls. I see like some. They're like again, they're little clasp things. They look like little flowers. They look like a little cup, a little flower with a with some fingers around it. I'm gonna step over here to chat and see what you guys have to say. Use your fancy microscope. That, um, I don't have it. It's not here. Um, let me get a little, let me, let me try getting, um, more, more lighting on it from this direction. Let's see if I can get, come on, get out of the way. There we go. my hand behind it maybe it'll focus that looks like it's focusing but you see that ball thing right there there's another one up right here too there's a whole bunch of them they're all over the place in here see there's another one right there every V has them and again um, I see what looks to be balls up here too you can see in this V here Looks like more. I'm pretty sure, like, I, I'm not positive, man, but I, I I would, if I was a gambling man, I would put money that this has balls. That's what I'd say. That's pretty ballsy to me. I'm going to come over and see what Chad has to think. Who's got the biggest balls of them all? We got big balls. Damn it. I don't want big balls. Well, I'm not big balls on my plants. I mean, I don't want... Never mind, I'm just gonna shut up right there. <laughs> I don't want big balls either. That's shut up. Shut up, Jesse. Yeah. They're weird, man. I'm not breeding them, no. I have uh I just don't have the room or the patience to breed. I have more seeds, so I could breed them down the road if I decide that I want to start breeding for fun. Um I could do that, but uh, not right now, no. Um I hate to do it, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to put this outside and let it freeze. That's like the easiest way. Um, the easiest way for me to currently deal with this plant is one of two ways. Either chop off all the vegetation 
and give it to my rabbits and let them eat it. I mean, it's a weird-ass looking plant anyway, but it, it, it's definitely got some balls in there, man. Okay, here. I'm going to pluck this string off here. I want to look at this under... Oh, yeah, for sure. That's got... Those don't look like fucking... Oh, dude, those flowers look like testicles. Okay, for shizzle. Okay, come over here. Point you down so you're not seeing the things. Come on and focus. You can do it. You can do it, camera. Come on. Try and focus. Come on. Okay, I'll get this other leaf here out of your way. This other leaf is causing you some grief. This leaf here is also causing you some grief. So there we go. Nothing pointing forward. You should focus. There we go. Look at that. Does that look like balls to you or does that look like balls? Like, I'm not trying to double over confirm. I just don't want to kill a plant that is not ballsy. But if you look at that tip there, that uh, looks like a little bunch of ball pods. Yeah. At the very, very, very least, it's a hermaphrodite. Um, uh, I'm okay. It was the least desirable looking plant in the whole freaking cage anyway. Um, you know, it was the smallest one. Let's have a dab. R.I.P. for the little super freak. But we're gonna, I'm gonna put it outside and let it freeze to death. Have a toke for a fallen, a fallen soldier, as it were. Everybody's like, yep, those look like balls to me. That's called, called flower, flowers non balls. That's, uh, it's, that's, it's, what? That's, that's a, such a hard sentence to read. That's its call. Flowers non balls. Hmm. I'm not grammar shaming you. I'm a terrible, I'm all sorts of dyslexic, so I'm not grammar shaming you, but you might have to decode that one, my friend. And I'm okay, man. I, I don't, again, I don't care. It gives me, now, now, the tent is even. We lost the duck foot on the other side, which was in the other similar small pot. Um, so now the tent is even. We've got two and two and one in the center. So it's down to five. And then there were five. If my worm bin was not overloaded right now, and I'm trying to actually not feed my worm bin so that they move into the next chamber and eat the new food that I've given them, um, they're taking their sweet ass time right now. They need to breed a little bit more. I think my worm, my worm numbers are down perhaps, I don't know. If my worm bin was in better stance and my worm uh, my worm farm, sorry, was in better stance, and my worm bin was not practically frozen solid right now and probably dead and have to be replaced. Um, I would normally just throw them into a recycling thing for sure, but the weather right now is so garbage, I don't really have a proper way to recycle them this time of year. I will grind them up or something come spring or just throw them in a compost pile or something like that. Um, but for now, they're just going to uh, go outside and yeah, worms would totally eat them normally. Um, but like I said, my, my worm bin, I'm trying to not, not feed it right now a little bit because it was a little a little on the overfed side. Save some super pollen? Nah. Nah. Pollen's only valid, even if you freeze it, only valid apparently for like up to a year or something. And I don't plan on breeding anything with them in the next year, so I just, I'm not... Again, I, I'm doing some breeding right now, yes, but I'm not really trying to become a breeder or anything. That's not really my aim, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I don't really have a proper facility for it. Um, see if there's shrinkage. <laughs> see if there's shrinkage and you put it outside. Um, probably. 
Probably. Anyway, um, let's get back into looking at these, looking at these things here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually bring this plant over here and stick it over on the freezer near the door, so that I can just have it out of the way and I'll, I'll take it outside later. Um, so that being said, the other um, ones in here are looking fine, man. They're looking great. These don't look, don't look male. Oh, camera's not pointing correctly. Sorry. Yeah, these two here don't look male or anything. Okay, I need to bring this camera down a little bit. There we go. There. And now I can just freely move the camera in here a bit. I'll take my sunglasses off so I can see what the fuck I'm doing. There we go. Um, yeah, so these, these freak shows are looking pretty good. Um, I did top them. Now these ones here are sprouting. The difference is these ones here are sprouting like little little pistol looking things, right? Like we're getting a single pistol out of each of the joints, whereas the other one was shooting like little ball looking things. And uh, let me step back in here. And uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, hold on. Let me look at this. That one looks like it's got balls on it too. Oh no. Oh no, those are definitely the same kind of flowers that I just killed the other plant for. Now, this, I wonder, I really wonder, there's a slight possibility that these kinds of balls are just the flower formation. But I'll tell you, these are look like balls. Those, I would, I would freak out. If I saw this, I would kill it in any other plant and say those are balls. Because this one's not doing that. Hold on. Let me double check this other plant's not doing that too. Yeah, that's the trouble with that's the trouble with fucking regular seeds. You put all this attention and effort into something, and then it grows balls on you. Oh my god. Is this one doing it too? No, wait a second. Hold on. I want to look at the difference here. Okay. Yes. Oh, the camera dropped. Sorry about that. Okay, so there is a difference here. I want to point this out. This is interesting, actually. This is a good... Um, where can I... Oh, shit, I wish I had better lighting. I really do. My lighting sucks. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm looking for a spot that I can see the, the thing and still show you things. I don't know if the lighting is going to suck here. It's definitely going to suck shit. Hold on a second. What can I do for lighting? I need a light, a, a, a top light right here right now would be fantastic, but I might be able to do this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so look right in the valleys of this plant here. See how right in the valley of the plant, there's balls right away. Like there isn't really like long, there's no long, no long strings. There's just pods in the V's of the things, okay? But this one has little stringy things in the Vs and then little groups of semi-pods. Now this could just be flowering. This could be the way... Now I was told that this is a weird looking flowering plant. I'm gonna leave this back one a bit longer, but I'm pretty sure... Um, that looks, this looks different. I'm gonna bring both of them side by side here and see if you can see what I'm talking about here. I know it's really hard to show that, but they do look different. The lighting sucks. I know this is hard as shit to do. Hold on, maybe like that? There we go. I can't, I can't tell how in focus that is, but do you see how one has balls and the other one has some strings Am I crazy? Is the, are these different? These do look different. Do they not? Question mark? Like, I intend to think that this one over here looks a bit more like a flower formation. And the other one... But the other one's... I don't know. It's so hard to tell. Are those pods or are those flower formations? So weird. So here's another test I got. Let's look at this plant here and see what this lady is doing. 
because these are feminized, okay? These ones down here are feminized. Let me just take a little branch out of here and let me take a look at this under the light here. <sighs> similar. Similar, similar. I mean, there's sort of these pods, but at least this one has very distinct little pistols shooting out. It's hard to show you again, but there is distinct little pistols shooting out of the Vs and then some space and then some pod grouping. I'm going to come over to chat here and see what you guys all have to think, man. I don't know. The one on the right is female. Give it a bit more time. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll give it another week. They look right, but it's hard to tell. They, they do look weird though, hey? I'm gonna give that back one time. I'm taking that little one out. That little one is definitely strange looking. Like I don't trust that little one for anything. It, it, it could be male for sure. It's a high, high chance. It looks male. My money would be on male. However, that one's sus. Very sus. I don't, I don't trust it right now. I kind of feel weird about what I was seeing there. Um, let me take a look at this one in the middle here. Let me pull a little, a little flowering section off. Or something that might even cut off later. Um, sure, whatever, that little thing. Let me look at this again under the light. Hmm. Yeah, similar pod-like groupings, but not the same. They look a little different. The, the grouping of them and the clustering and the, the, the round nature looks different. So whatever. I'm going to keep my eyes on them. That's all I can do. Again, if I got to get rid of these two right here. Pardon the bad camera angle. There we go. If, these are the super freaks, okay? Um, these three are feminized. So I'm inclined to trust that what I'm seeing is female flowers here. And what I'm seeing here looks the same as what I'm seeing on this one. That one looks a little sus, but I can't tell. It could, it's such a weird growing plant. We'll give it till next week. We'll find out if it, stay tuned next week. Will the super freak be a super freaky freak or just a regular or a, nor a normal super freak? Whatever the word is. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be funny. And it's not always work. Um, but we need to take this lady right here. This is the one I've been documenting with the stop motion or time motion camera. Um, it's too big for its britches and there's a lot of lolly popping that needs to be done. So I'm going to take that out and we're going to trim it because last time my microphone died right when I was trying to do it. And we're not doing a, a, a defoliation. We're doing a little bit of de-skirting, if you will. Oh, shit. Why did I water them this morning? Oh, this is a little heavier than it should be. I should have watered this after the show. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Brace yourself. Lift with your knees. Hi oh, yeah. Right into the lights. That's a smart move. Yeah. I should have waddled back a little bit and then lifted with my knees. <laughs> okay, that was not easy. That's getting heavier, man. I'm gonna have to stop doing that pretty soon. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that much longer. This thing's starting to pack the weight on. It's already pretty freaking hard for me to do. Lift that up. Okay, now. Um, let me see if closing these helps. Does this help or hinder the lighting? The lighting. Is that better or worse? Maybe it's a bit worse. Maybe if I come on this side of it and look down, you can see the lighting better. Let me come over and see how that looks on camera. I know the lighting kind of stinks over there. I'm going to have to do something better about it pretty soon. That male's gonna get frosty outside. Oh, you're so right. <laughs> good point, good point. Um, I think actually my better bet is actually using the white background and then this becomes an issue over here. Maybe I can open 
this little three by whatever behind me here and crank this thing on. Yeah, that's giving me a little more light. Okay, that'll work, that helps. It's not perfect. Again, I'm gonna have to get something above here one of these days, some sort of a big ceiling light that just I can, I can adjust for on the wall, like a little dim switch or something like that. Uh, it's coming one of these days, but um, let me back up just a smidge here so you can see what I'm talking about. As you can see, it's a little bit low of a canopy. I would really like, I've put um, these tomato cages in here, these large, large tomato cages in here. Um, I would like to, here's the first rung right here, right? This is where the first rung starts. I kind of want to get rid of everything below the first rung. See what I'm saying? So like, from about here down, I want to get rid of everything. I want to lollipop all this shit from about here down, pardon me. Get rid of all this. So that's, I think, what we're going to do. So let's uh, lower this camera's height a little bit. So you're kind of on the same level. And grab a little thing here. You know what, though? Where's my sunglasses? Let's have a quick dab first. Amazon has an LED light bulb with multiple fans. It puts out a regular socket. You know what? I don't even have a socket up here. Look, look. here's the problem. Look, look at this. This is my ceiling. There's nothing up there. Do you know how I'm lighting the room? I'm using an unnamed brand of light and I'm shining it up on the ceiling in the corner away from where I'm working and it kind of illuminates the whole room pretty well. Look at this. It does a really good job, but I don't have a light on the ceiling. I could probably fit it's it's all like wood up there i could probably put something up there mount something but currently i don't have any lights in the ceiling up in here the only light in the whole ceiling in here is one of these stupid shop lights right above the desk over here on the other side of the room <laughs> like 10 feet away from this thing so yeah <laughs> I, 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 I'll work on it one of these days. Anyway, dab time. I'm gonna have dab, 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 Wow, am I banned from chatting? I'll be reporting. What? Why? What are you talking about, Sam? What's your fucking? What's going on? What did I miss? Hold on, let me look back in chat here. You never got banned from anything. What are you talking about, sir? I can see all your chat. Right there, you said, uh, kill it, it's a male. Yeah, I, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. You are not banned from chatting. Refresh your browser or something, man. Maybe you're having a little fuck up or something. But you're okay on my end. Colleen, how you doing, Colleen? Long time, sort of long time no here. I know you come in the chats here once in a while, but I hope you're doing well. I haven't heard from you in a while. Not directly at any rate, so again, I hope you're doing well. Always sending happy thoughts your way, hon. Don't ever forget it. I like this jam. It's funky. It's called Get Ready, Freddy. true man plants do love getting pruned it's like getting a haircut or shaving a sheep or something they get all this new growth healthy new growth um <coughs> trimming a plant getting rid of some old growth or things that are shading things allowing other things to have a little fighting chance <coughs> is really healthy for your plant <coughs> metal 55 what up 
How y'all doing? Oh, I'm as well as to be expected. Thank you for asking. Um, I'm actually looking for someone in the Red Deer area that needs equipment. Uh-oh, I'm sorry to hear that. If you need any help um, uh, moving some equipment from... Uh, I can make a post on the Discord group or something. Um, there's people in, you know, Alberta, Manitoba, BC. Somebody might be interested and we can help facilitate some sale of some... Uh, of your equipment that you're not needing anymore um, in order to, you know, raise some funds or something, if that's something you need to do. Uh, talk to Wormy and we'll... If you don't want to come in the Discord, you don't have to, love, but uh, talk to Wormy um, and we'll we'll sort something out for you. If we, can, if we can help, we will. You know that. How does Freak Show smoke? <laughs> I'm going to find out, I hope, as long as they don't go all weird on me. Anyway, I'm sure they're going to be fine. I want my scissors. My scissors are right here. I put the sunglasses down. Okay, so. Um, let me see here. You know, I'm going to be a little bit indiscriminate. It doesn't really matter that much. We just got, we got so much. We're just going to have to start picking some stuff and, and killing. So I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to take everything below the line, man. And indiscriminately pretty much just chop it all. I'm not going to chop any major stocks, but offshoots of those stocks below the line are going. Anything below the line, anything starting below the line that's that's just an offshoot going. Including stuff right up to the line. Because honestly, it'll just only free out the space and encourage more vertical growth and, and, and put more energy into the top anyway. So um, it's just, uh, it's not a bad thing at all. Now these are here. These are a bit of a these are a bit of a debate right here. Cause look, here's the line and here's the V. I'm gonna keep this one because it's right at the cutoff point. If it was drooping below, like here, take this little leaf and bring it up over top, and there we go. Now it's not drooping below. But uh, yeah, I'll keep that. But um, anyway, let's keep turning here. There's lots to go through here. Um, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of the two leaves that were on that bushel. There's two leaves there. Let's just get rid of those because those were kind of drooping, but the rest is fine. Um, let's see here. Uh, there's lots of these little tiny twigs and stuff like that that are just living in the lower larf that can go for sure. None of that's going to survive and I come uh, uh, produce any viable, smokable weed anyway, so I'll just fucking get it out of there. There we go, making some breathing room. Holy smoke. You know what, let's take all that. Fuck it. Like I said, it's below the line, it's gotta go. Now this whole arm is technically below the line. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it, but I'm gonna take everything in the inner core out. Those guys all gotta go. And that bottom leaf has gotta go, and this green thing's gotta go. This little tuff has gotta go. Let me spin it. Some internal garbage here. Let me pluck and call that. Um, some low hangers here. Um, this is so borderline, and, and it is technically lower. I'm just going to clip it. Same with you, too. I'm going to clip you and you. Let your other things stick out. There's fine, but that leaf, take that leaf, um, and then here, I'm going to take this and that off of this bushel here still, and these two outer leaves, just to give that, that much more space, oh, I see stuff, oh, that was just a tough laying inside, but there's these little armpit hairs inside here, these all got to just get plucked, you don't want them to waste any energy developing we're not keeping any of that so you just go through the middle here and pluck all those little armpit hairs right off the core <laughs> whatever you want to call them oh look the little flower i'm gonna keep it there's a little um i know you can't see it very well but right here's a little clover flower from some clover that was in the very corner of the pot that didn't get didn't get plucked for whatever reason um 
this one's getting in the way, so let's just get it out of here. I'm gonna take those two out as well. Again, I'm gonna be very, gonna be pretty, pretty aggressive, indiscriminate with all this lower larf and internal stuff, hey? If there's stuff happening on the internals here, I just cut all that off too. You don't want anything in the, in the actual inside. You want it all on the outside and the top. Up to, up to the part where it splits. I'll leave it there, that point on. But everything else on the inside, these little, little tiny mini groupings in the armpits of the plants gotta go, man. Don't need it. sun is coming through here. I can see a couple of little spots over here. And some larf up here. Let me just pull those little pubes out of there. And that's good. Pick up. Now, I still took off more than I thought. I'll throw this into one of my compost bins for sure. But, uh, yeah, look at, look at how much I took off. There's a Kind of a fair amount of, fair amount of lower. But look at what it did though. You see what that did now? There we go. That's much, much, much better. Um, yeah. See, now you can really see up in here too. Um, if I really wanted to, and I'm gonna, it's cause I'm here. Um, this is a really good time to go in here and look for um, some extra leaves, maybe some extra big broad leaves to get out. And uh, here's here's how you spot them. Um, you see how there's two. On, right here. See how there's two leaves here. I know for a fact this bottom one, without even looking out there, because how can you tell in this mess what's what out there, right? But I'll tell you right now, from the way these things grow, all plants do this. The bottom one is the leaf. Watch. Just blindly, I'm going to snap it. Pull it out here and I'll show you. See, it's the leaf. The bottom one is always the leaf. The top one is the branch. It's the armpit hairs. That's why I'm pulling those little armpit sections. Everywhere there's a, a V in the plant, uh, uh, um, a new arm with, with buds and flowers or whatever will grow up out of that. But this bottom one here is a leaf always kind of thing, right? So anyway, I'm gonna come in here and take out a couple of these top leaves, just two more sets like that. And uh, that really freed up a lot of the inside there. I like, I like how this aerated the inside there a whole bunch now. Let me take that, take those little toofs off of that. And I'm gonna take you, you, and your toofs as well. Because I just don't want you. There you go. And those ones there. Oh, and those. Man, I keep finding more and more and more as I get deeper into this. And then you gotta go, there we go. And down at the very back, there and there. Come on, is that it now? Is that it now? One more leaf, one more leaf, I see it. Come on, come on. One more leaf. Now that's it, right? I gotta stop somewhere. Yep, yep, there we go. We got it, we got it where I want it. I cleaned out. <clears throat> Here's a really good way to come in and show you. Um, I cleaned out the interior real good. You see the interior's got a lot of air going on now. And again, it's all about the buds, the tips of this shit. We're trying to push this up. I, I topped it a long time ago, if you remember. I topped it right here. There's my finger pointing, right here. There we go, I topped it. So we've got two arms coming up now, two ladies. So two colas right here, bleep, bleep. So that'll slow down, slow down the vertical growth and help it bush out. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. And why I'm using this is so that I can kind of use some of these wires and, uh, and pipe cleaners and junk um, to train this how I want. Now, this is pretty good, but there's a couple of spots I wanna, wanna train a little bit while I'm here, because that's what, that's what we're doing. This is what I do with my shit. Pipe cleaners, baby. Make friends, make friends with nice fuzzy little pipe cleaners. 
You can pick your colors. Greens are easy to blend in. Whatever. Pick whatever friggin' color you want. But sometimes, here's a really good example right here. These two, um, these two branches right here are very close to each other and they're basically squishing onto each other. Hey, wait a second. I hear a dancing monkey or something. What the heck was that? Banger boy. Welcome to flowering. Hey, welcome aboard, mate. Don't prune that much, like 70% goes to hand. I don't prune that much. Yeah, well, this is, a, this is a lower, this is first week of flower, or second week of flower, so it's got lots to, it's got lots to grow. This is just what I'm doing. You know, you, you do whatever works for you, man. I'm not, uh, <laughs> larf haters. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Um, okay, let me get back into this here for a second, though. Okay, so anyway, we got these two here, right? And I, I kind of want to spread them away from each other. They're kind of in each other's way a little bit. Now, let me think about this. Realistically, this skinny one here would be really easy to go over here. But then this one here kind of gets in the way. So what if I took the skinny one and pushed it over here out of the way and then started training this harder to move one over here? If I carefully, and I mean frigging carefully, you can break your plant really easy doing this. And uh, my man, New Winter, taught me this trick and it's frickin' brilliant. Don't, um, I mean, I kind of fed it this morning, so it's got some water in it, but it's not waterlogged. I didn't just feed it like an hour ago or anything. Um, it was quite a while ago, to be honest. It's, it's probably needs more water, to be fair. Anyway, anyway, uh, don't try to do too much training after a watering, because after a watering, all the cells are full of water and fat and at their most prone to breaking. Um, so, um, I might just slow train this. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just trap, a, uh, 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 or, or wrap a little bit of one of these, um, twist ties around that, or twist ties, a, a, a pipe cleaner around that one, and I'm gonna pull it over here a little bit for today. I don't wanna yank it over all the way, but a little bit for today. That's a, a good start. It's kind of in a, uh, a very adjustable spot here. I can sort of untie it at any point here. I want to bring it up a little higher. Less tension. There we go. That's the spot. And um, yeah, this will just... Um, I, can, I can move that a little bit further next time, perhaps. Um, at any rate, we're going to come through here and take a quick peekaboo and see if there's anything else that needs to be slightly adjusted. Definitely a few things. I'm going to take some of these pipe cleaners. I'm going to cut one of them in half. And we're going to take this little guy here. And we're going to just tie it up over here. We're going to just yank it over. And then we're going to tie it. And then I'm going to wrap the thing around the, the wire as much as possible like that. I don't know how well you can see that. Here we go. See what I did? There we go. I just bent it over like this. Yank and then tied it over here because there was a nice big gap here in the canopy. There was nothing over here and this was a nice good little good little arm to um, to, be to bend. You want to see something funny? I just noticed this. Look at this. Here's one of my training methods right here. Um, this is called uh, death training. <laughs> no, you can tell I pruned, I pruned this, but I had bent it in the past and I guess I never just took the thing off. <laughs> That's almost sad. Oh, sorry, little, sorry thing. There was just, it, you can see this plant did this weird bend. It was really, it grew kind of sideways for a little bit before it started going up. And it really stayed that way in the pot, which is really bizarre. Cause look, it really grew out of the one side of the pot. So it's giving me a bit of grief with training now as a result, but whatever, whatever. Also, I can get rid of this thing. I haven't seen any flies in there, like, like a couple, but uh, this thing got soaked with the water anyway this morning. So it's pretty much garbage. That's okay, because, like I said, I haven't seen many flies in there anyway. Um, let me see here. Anything more I want to... See, here's one that's tied down from the old one. This is still tied down. This is good right here. Let me think here. Any more that should be adjusted, or is that pretty good? Um, some can be very slight adjustments, like right here. I just took this, and I bent it around this, and then that allowed me to 
very slight adjust that. I'm actually gonna take that old piece of little one here and I'm gonna just put one little coil around it like that. And um, the reason I actually like pipe cleaners is because you don't need to get them around tight. You can just get them around loosely like once and then kind of give them a twist and they won't put any tension and actually like restrict the plants. Like if you wrap wire around it and then pull it, it, if the plant tries to grow, it's gonna cut into it. Like, if you, I mean, people have seen like barbed wire growing into trees before. Same thing, like your shit will grow right into your plant if it swells at all while it's too tightly bound. Um, okay, I see one more spot here I'd like to maneuver. Um, yeah, right there. I'm just gonna use this other little half piece that I got sitting here. And there's just a, a, a little piece that I'm gonna yank over here and uh, connect with this corner of the frame like that and uh there that's pre pretty good spread out there's a little bit more to be desired over here but again this is just this one branch that um, i need to train over that way to fill in this gap and then that'll be pretty good it's definitely sticking a little out the side weird here it's making the footprint of this plant a bit oval but plants grow how they grow man and um, i am training it but you know you can only uh say whoosh, go back to where I told you so many times and uh, it only does so much you know I don't you can only train it so well <laughs> I don't know man you started the first domino effect pipe cleaner by the end of the 50 pipe cleaners hold on every branch nah I, I do like my pipe cleaners and those clips though those clips are freaking useful I, I, I've, I have used them for a long time they they do work very well for just um especially for like auto flowers and stuff because auto flowers you don't necessarily want to like train them and cut them and scrog them and kind of stuff like that for auto flowers you just kind of want to spread them open a little bit you you want to make because they'll go straight up like a a fucking weird little bush like this like a, a group so it's 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 ideal if you can kind of spread them out gently a little bit as they're growing It'll give everybody more room. And uh, you can see my current uh, pheno hunt of auto flowers. I didn't do it with any of them. And that's why they're all little, little, little bushels like that. It can be a fucking bonsai. A hundred percent. It can be a fucking bonsai. You can, um, especially with photo periods, they're a lot more forgiving. You can really like train them as young plants and wire wrap them and actually make them do things and then put them into flower. I've seen, there's a few people, there's a few bonsai cannabis growers on Instagram. There's one or two that I follow and my boy New Winter, my, my assistant manager, he's done it too. I'm pretty sure he was either posting pictures of it or he's done it. I think he's done it. What is that sound? Oh, it was the... It was the temperature click on that thing was registering something. Okay. That's what it was. It was the, the heater thing. Man, this thing's getting low on the fuel. Ruh row. Ruh row. Anyway, I'm gonna have to do that with the rest of those plants. And the one in the middle, I have to just reach in there and do it. I can't pick it up and do that. And I'm actually not gonna probably pick up the other ones. I'm probably just gonna grab a stool and sit down and do it. Cheers. It's looking pretty good. I mean, I could sort of take these tops and kind of spread them. 
That's not a bad idea. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it with pipe cleaners. Let's go back to the camera for a second. I want to talk about this, and I want to do it. As soon as I freaking moved the, the tops, I seen it was like a good idea. I'm like, yeah. If I really want to maximize what's going on here. Hold on. Let me get the legs going there a little bit better. Okay. Lock that in place. There we go. Let me just push this larf out of the way here for a second. Again, I got rabbits, man. My rabbits, this stuff right here is going to the rabbits, 100%. They live right outside there. Um, they will totally eat that. Um, I could give them that the mail. I mean, whatever. I give them big sticks, too. They like freaking big stalks because they chew on it. And it's fun. It's a good chew stick for their teeth and stuff. I give them big stalks once in a while, for sure. Um... Okay, so if I turn it around this way, it's going to be the easiest to see that. Um, you know what? I need to make this even taller. Give me, give me a second here. I'm sorry about the weird camera angles as I'm just extending the, the tripod legs. Ho, ho, ho! There we go. That might even be... Yeah, that might even be too much here. Let me bring that down to some reality there. There we go, there we go. That's pretty good. So this is what I'm talking about right here. These two ladies right here. Let me take my sunglasses off so I can see what's going on. Um, you know what? I can probably safely say that I can cut a pipe cleaner in half. And if not, I've got a whole bunch more, so it's not a big deal. But So here's what I was saying, too. These are the leaves. Let me get that out of the way here. These are the leaves here. Um, I almost don't want to cut that because they're sort of supporting each of these. But... Um, yeah, there's no way I can really do what I want to do with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little loop right here, a very little one right at the very first node. Like I said, a gentle one with no, no restriction on it. I don't want to cut the thing off. And I'm going to just kind of pull it to the side a little bit and put a, a, a soft loop on that. See how it's just sort of been this way a little bit? That's good. I don't need to go crazy with it, but spreading it is a good is a good method. Now, same thing with this one here. We could probably go that way, and for this, I'm going to use a whole pipe cleaner because I want to kind of yank this in, in a bit further of a direction. And I'm going to stick this between these two short spaced nodes here um, to sort of give it a, a strength spot, I think. See, I can just yank it this way, a, just a little bit. I don't want to go crazy. I'm not trying to break it or anything or anything like that. Just kind of coax it that way. For now, I'm going to leave these, even though these leaves are totally in the way of other things. This one's not so much, but this one over here totally is. Here, I can kind of get it, tuck it out of the way. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to tuck it. Give it the old good tuck job. There we go. Tuck them both. There we go. See what I did there? I tucked the, <laughs> and then spread those two tops. And is what that is gonna help do is, like I said, it's really gonna help keep a, a, a more shallow canopy. I don't need to go that far, but that's on all of them or anything, but that's something we can do right there. <laughs> and you're right, you just keep adding more pipe cleaners. Just a few more pipe cleaners, it'll be okay. So, well, folks, I think that's about all I got for today. Um, I don't know what else to show you here. I'm, out of, I'm getting low on fuel. I've kind of showed you what I got to do. Um, I'm just going to do the rest off camera because it's easy. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Don't forget to follow my Twitch account tonight after I'm done doing this and get some food in my belly. Um, my seven days to die solo run is at my first horde night and I've got a little horde base with a bunch of weapons on it and I'm going to try and my hands at a very first solo 
support base. Very un unrelated. But just if you're into games and shit, come check me out on Twitch. Yada, yada, yada. I won't talk about it anymore. Thank you very much. If you're more into cannabis, check the links below in the description. Do that little expand thing or whatever to make the uh, uh, description expand like that. There's a bunch of links to the Discord group of a bunch of cool growers. And there's places to buy some cool can of beard merch and uh, uh, other assorted links to the website and discount codes and all that kind of fun jazz. So uh, feel free to check out that kind of stuff for more information and uh, discount codes and that kind of shit. Anyway, <clears throat> cheers. Uh, I hope to see a bunch of you on the Twitch tonight. It's going to be a fun one. I'm on the last day, so it'll be happening fairly quickly here. What time is it now? It is 6.30. Um hour probably i need to finish this Maybe like two hours at most in like two hours at the very most i'll be on uh i'll be on twitch so just uh go follow me there and cheers and i'll see you there otherwise for cannabis content i will see you again on the regular scheduled program on friday uh for the auto flower pheno hunt and updates with the breeding project other than that mm, you might catch me on instagram or on the discord or on Twitch. <laughs> Cheers. Much love. Thank mm -hmm. you.